Now, reasons to be skeptical. Overall, my impressions of this trailer are very positive, but there's definitely some concerns here. Uh, one, uh, I was praising the concept and you know earlier, but I do think that the summoning, the stand aspect of the story, uh, as well as the simplicity of the base story, could very much hurt the game. It seems like it's very simple. It seems like a very formulaic, which you know, not a terrible thing. Fire Emblem has had these types of stories before, and it hasn't been the end of the world. But if you're deep into Three Houses and you like Three Houses going into that darker, moral gray area, it doesn't look like that game is going to deliver that, which for a lot of fans I know is going to be somewhat concerning. A second thing, in the gameplay, you were also seeing a lot of uh, low movement. Uh, base 4 movement, base 5 movement for calves, and boosting up to 6, it seems like they're really dumbing down the scale of the game. And if you play Fire Emblem a lot, you know that movement, more movement means more options, more versatility. And when you kind of bring it down to 4, 5, like lower metrics here, um, you are going to have gameplay that's a little bit slower, a little bit less versatility, and ultimately that might result in a gameplay experience that's kind of, you know, slow and a bit dull. Yeah, also, the monastery is back, or some form of the monastery, and it looks like it's not going to play the same role as it did in the Three Houses, but for me in Three Houses, the monastery was not fun. I didn't enjoy it, it felt slow, it bogged down the pacing a lot. I really hope they learned their lesson from that game, and that it's not built into the core gameplay loop. I hope that it's like in Three Hopes, where it's a quick, simple, small space to interact, and then you move on. I hope they tone it down, but the fact it's there does have me a bit worried. Back to the summoning concept, I think the summoning concept does have the danger of maybe overshadowing the main cast. The main cast does look expansive, and looks like they have their own character. I am worried that maybe the summoning aspect might not work out in terms of letting those regular characters or new characters shine. Now, it might not be a problem, for example, in Fire Emblem Heroes, I know there's a lot of Fire Emblem Heroes fans who like the unique Fire Emblem Heroes characters, and the fact that there's, you know, summoning around it didn't really affect anything, or, you know, it didn't really hurt it. Also related to the concept, I also have the opposite concern, I guess. That the heroes, that the summons are just going to be just that. Just summons, just static characters that just kind of stand there. It looks like you do have some limited interaction with the characters on some level, which is really good. Uh, but how far will it go? I think I mentioned this earlier in the stream. Is it going to be like, after each battle, they just go like, hey, 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 that was a battle, yeah? And then like, that's it? Are you going to be able to build supports with them? I know there's a bond system in there, but I didn't see necessarily, there might not be a support system or ways to really meaningfully interact with these kind of spirits and ghosts that are summoned. And I really, really hope the game strikes this balance where the new characters can shine on their own but also, they can shine along the old characters, if that makes sense. So overall, I think there is a lot of reasons to be optimistic about this game, but I see where the skepticism is from, and I have my own skepticisms about how this is actually going to play out.